Okay, I'm going to do a little demonstration of uh, GPS technology over the years. Take a look over here. This one here is a 60 CSX. And you can see it's a little hard to see, kind of a small screen. But totally waterproof, really picks up good tracks. Nice unit, has a bunch of push buttons. So it's a little bit complicated to use, but uh, it's definitely a good unit. Very rugged. Okay, sort of a next generation is the Nuvi 500. This is actually a Nuvi 550. Same piece of hardware, slightly different software with highway maps from different areas. And this is a, definitely a good old time unit to use. It's waterproof, um, has a pretty good screen. This screen isn't as reflective as the 60, so it's very visible even in uh, bright daylight. You can see now we're in we're in sort of an overcast daylight, but it's still nice and clear. I have it in night mode, and it just doesn't happen to be. This is set up with ATV maps. I'm in the southern part of the state, and there's not too many. There's just the little Rockingham Trail showing up there, but definitely a good no unit. It's mounted in a uh, nice ram mount on the handlebars, and now this one here is probably newer technology. This is a Nexus 7. Again, it's mounted in a RAM mount, so it's nice and secure. The beauty of this unit is that you have lots of options uh, as far as map backgrounds. Right now I'm showing satellite images. Uh, it's very fast. Um, this is running OSM AND, Osmond, um, which is a very capable uh, routing map. Um, you can preload everything on it so it works out on the trails. You don't have to have a uh, data signal. Okay, we'll take a qu quick little look here at the mounts. This is the RAM mount for your typical GPS here. Don't think you tie on. You can get them different cradles for a variety of different GPS's. Um, this is the one for the Nexus 7, and it's a spring mount, and you can see, I'll show you here how the spring mount releases. I actually put a little rubber band on it to make it a little more rugged. Just pull the spring mount off, lift it out, put it back in, and just for an added sense of security, I pop a little rubber band on there. So. If you're really on a rough trails, it doesn't bounce. Um, now I'll show you another another type of GPS. These are very new. This is a new V40 LM. It's really an automotive unit. It's not waterproof, but it's pretty easy the to make. The Garmin 60 GPS. It was about four hundred dollars. The new V500 bought new was about $500. Uh, these are discontinued. The 60 CSX is also discontinued. This is the 40 LM. I got this on sale for $90. Really, you can tell the difference in you know four or five years in the speed. The processors are much faster, a um, little easier to use, very clear. So this one is very quick. I have this one set up just with automobile maps but this I think is one of the better ones you can get for using on an ATV or a snowmobile uh, it's nice and compact little thin the only problem is if you get into a pouring rainstorm or something like that cover it in a plastic bag or stick it in your pocket same with the Nexus 7 it's not waterproof but either of these or any of these will work with uh, through a plastic bag you can still see see it and it can protect them I'll very quickly show you the plastic bag method. Say if it started pouring rain down on me. Pop this up like that. Boom. But I can still... Oops, I made the map disappear. I can still scroll around the map. Zoom in. There's a trail system up there. Winnipesaukee. There you go. Now it's not ideal, but it definitely can... Zoom around, 
zoom out. Here's a Android cell phone. Right now it's controlling my GoPro to do this video, but I can switch to my navigation and bring up the routing trail maps. There we go. So again, you see all the trail maps right here. Hopefully I'm pointing the camera at the right place because my controller is off. So this is a little more compact than the Nexus. Still very functional. Um, I suppose you can get a mount for this, you know, some kind of universal mount for your cell phone. And again, protect it with a plastic bag if necessary. off the Nexus screen. my mode. Top priority is always staying focused on the driving going. I want to be looking at the GPS and run into a tree. So this is not really a trail. Just kind of bushwhacking in my backyard. 